My name is Rebecca Gascoigne and my mother died when I was five years old. My name is Livia Gascoigne and my mum died when I was three years old. I'm Aidan and I lost my father eight years ago. My name's Kaylee. My mum died five years ago. My name's Jenna and my mum died when I was five years old. My name's Keely. I'm 14 years old and my mum passed away when I was nine. After my mum died, I started getting quite bad panic attacks and I really didn't know how to cope. I was just very anxious all the time. It's just these random things that just set you off. I was just so, so scared and so unaware of what was going to happen to me. My emotions were everywhere and I just couldn't put anything into a box or anything. There was this time in um, primary when I, uh, we were in assembly and um, a random song came on and I started crying, I had to be taken out. It was becoming quite difficult. I was in the middle of my A-levels by that point and it was just, everything seemed a bit of a mess. The worst thing with growing up without a mother is just seeing everyone else, everywhere you go, having one and you think, why me? Why did this happen to me? Friends around me, they all had a mum and then their mums would do stuff for them and they'd pick them up every day and then I just, I just didn't have that. Because I was so young, I kind of think I have one memory of her. I don't imagine having a mum because I was never used to it and I never knew what that feeling was like. When I was really young, I didn't understand how my mum died and what caused her to die. And I would say, was it my fault? I didn't know if it was me who was in the wrong, like if it was my fault that she died and it made me feel guilty for anything bad that had happened if we'd ever had like arguments or I was naughty. The fact that no one would talk to me about it, it created this sense of I should feel guilty because if no one's talking to me, then what I'm feeling must be wrong. When she first died, I didn't really know who I could trust because people didn't understand. I didn't tell many people for a while because I just found it hard to bring it into conversation. With friends, you know, they, they can't give you the same support. They don't understand the experience. They don't understand what you're going through. It was just me trying to sort of be to myself and not make them stressed out. And I'd just be like in tears for ages because I just hadn't spoken to anyone about it for so long. My school classmates were told they couldn't talk to me about it. And so all the way till I was 11 and left primary school, no one ever spoke to me about my mum. When people would say like, oh, is your mum picking you up or anything like that? I, at the early stages, I used to just panic. One of my teachers asked me how my mum was coping and I had to tell him that she died. It made me feel that no one cared. Through secondary school, I got bullied because of it and it was quite difficult to start settling in and go straight back into doing my GCSEs. People would start saying, oh, oh, your dad, your dad this, your dad that, oh, ha, ha, it's funny. Then they were saying to me, like, four months after she died, I should have been over it. I could not wrap my head around why kids were saying this, and it happened, uh, this would keep happening. Yes, it was year eight, year nine, year 10 and 11, so four years in living through that. It was very, very hard. I tried to mask everything by doing schoolwork and just focusing on that and not really thinking about how I was feeling much. And just tried to think, well, I'm okay. As long as my grades are okay, then I'm doing all right. But it's, it's not as easy as that. I started coming to Child Bereavement UK when I was 12 or 13. And at this time, I was really, really, really depressed. I wasn't going to school at all. My life was at a total standstill. For me, it was when I started almost thinking about what I couldn't do with my mum and how it was making me feel and the guilt I felt towards her death. I was quite unsure about it at the time, but it, it's been so amazing. I initially received individual one-on-one -on -one therapy, which I found extremely beneficial because it it allowed me to open up. It really helped because I felt like they really knew what I was feeling. It's so good to get it out, to tell someone about it and not feeling bad for putting it on your family because you know that they're going through the same thing as you. It just gradually helped me to become more able to talk about my mum more. 
like freely if you know what I mean. Every time I would come I would just be a weight lifted off like each t each session a small weight. YPAG, our Young People's Advisory Group, is a group for bereaved local children. Being around other people is that, that have experienced the same thing is very good as well because then you can talk to them about it and they'll understand what they've what you've been through. And that was probably the most beneficial thing to me because one of the biggest feelings of being of bereavement is loneliness. You feel you're not on your own and that you've made really good friends that understand how you're feeling at certain times of the year and don't judge you for how you're feeling. We work together to create projects to help the charity and help other young people and it's really beneficial to us because it's not therapy in the sense we sit down and talk about our experience but we work together as a team and kind of little by little get to know each other and know our stories more but the sense of working to help other people is a really productive way of helping our own, our own grief. I think going to counselling and YPAG has really changed me as a person and I don't think I'd have as much confidence in myself. They've just really helped me become happier and being happy is so much better than being sad. Well, I really good. I mean, I'm in the final year of university. I definitely wouldn't have thought that a few years ago. I wouldn't be as fierce as I am. I wouldn't be as strong. I wouldn't be um, as independent as I am today. I can show my emotions a lot more. As in, I don't hide them as much, but it's still... Nothing's ever going to be the same. I know that. But it's going to get easier as time goes on. The charity have done so much for me and um, everyone else in the group, and it's just, it, it, it's been so helpful. You'll get there. It might feel hard and you might have really, really dark days where you just don't want to get out of bed, but you will get there. I would like to say thank you to everyone who's helped me and help, works for the charity and has done counselling with me and helps at YPAG and just it's everyone coming together and it's just so lovely, just thank you. <laughs>